The main cause of death in breast cancer patients is not the original tumor in the breast, but rather the spread of cancer cells to other parts of the body, known as metastasis. That caused 90% of death in patients. Based on WHO data in 2022, the number of deaths in breast cancer increased 665,684 people worldwide. The increasing number of deaths to the breast cancer is caused by unsuccessful treatment due to the onset of cancer cells resistance to chemotherapy agents. This resistance is triggered by patients who do not comply with the medication and side effects it causes. This must be overcome immediately with a new strategy, namely therapy using chemotherapy supporting agent that able to increase the effectiveness of therapy so that it can prevent resistance to reduce of the side effects of the chemotherapy. An herbal plant that has the potential to be used as an anti-cancer is Ochotonifera. So far, the cactus is known to receive less attention from the community and is only used as an ornamental plant so that its utilization and processing are not optimal. In addition, the Ochotonifera plant has also been proven to contain many phytochemical compounds that have great potential as drugs. Ochotelinifera has flavonoid compounds can inhibit metastasis and to suppress reactive oxygen special level, thereby causing cell cycle termination. Compounds that are potential against cancer cells must be able to selectively kill breast cancer cells without affecting normal cells. Based on the description above, the use of Opuntia Ochotelinifera as an anti-cancer agent for breast in effective formulation has not been widely found. We have developed an innovation with the title Titong, Innovation of Natural Breast Anti-Cancer Adjuvant Based on Flavonoids of Opuntia Chotinilevera with Bioinformatics and In Vitro Approach. I am Adila Zagov and I am Sofia Vanessa Zain and we are from Junior, Junior High School to Semarang. The objective of this study are described as follows. Simply shell was weight as much as 200 grams extracted by maceration at room temperature. Maceration to obtain extract filtrate. After filtration, the sulfon is evaporated in a rotary vacuum evaporator. Phytochemical tests carried out to identify alkaloids, flavonoids, tannins, saponins, steroids, and triterpenoids with various regions. This DLC test aims to determine the active compound in Ototelnifera that acts as a natural breast anti-cancer adjuvant by looking at the stain spot on the DLC plate. Then, irradiation is carried out using UV light at wavelengths of 245 and 366. FDIR test is used to determine the functional group contained in the Ototelnifera extract at wavelengths of 4000 until 500 cm. A cytotoxic test was used to determine the potential toxicity of the active compound from the Ochotonilifera extract against MDA MB231 breast cancer cells, with test parameter is IC50. Bioinformatics profiles were analyzed using several web tools to obtain potential target genes for flavonoids. The result of the phytochemical screening test can be seen in the figure. The result of phytochemical analysis in this study revealed the existence of secondary metabolic compounds of alkaloids, flavonoids, tannins, saponins, a steroid, and ototelnifera extract, while triterpenoids were not found. Based on the result of phytochemical screening test, ototelnifera extract is positive for flavonoids that are suspected to have potential for anti breast cancer. The result of the TLC test can be seen in the figure. The TLC results show the presence of yellow stains under UV with a wavelength of 366 nanometer. This indicates that it is positive for flavonoids. Here is the result of the UV phase spectrophotometry test. In 1 gram of Ochotolinifera extract is proven to contain flavonoid compounds with a level of 68 mg. The content of flavonoid compounds shows the main content in the extract that has the potential to have anti-cancer activity as a breeze. Here is the result for FTIR test. The result of FTIR analysis showed that there was a strain of carboxylate group and the hydroxyl group at the peak of wave absorption of 3358 cm. This indicates the presence of flavonoids group. MDA and B231 cells have an inherent characters on the surface of tissue cultured dishes, have an endothelial like morphology, and have a spindle like protection that collect nice like figure 3. Cytotoxic tests showed that the viability of MDA and B231 cells was reduced and underwent morphological change to be spherical and not formed in a cell spindle. This result suggests at a low to high concentration, 
Auditor de Ferra may inhibit the interaction of MDA and B231 cancer cells with the extracellular matrix. The results showed that the IC50 of Ojatolini Ferra was obtained at the concentration of 270.63 microgram per milliliter. A significant decrease in the population of MDAMB231 cells after Ojatolinifera extract indicates the presence of an active compound that has anti-cancer activity against MDAMB231 cancer cells in vitro. Figure A explains that all the Telnifera extract targets genes associated with apoptosis biomarkers in breast cancer cells. Figure B explains that TTPE protein interaction through string. Figure C explains that TTPE's involvement in biological processes, molecular function, and cellular components. Figure D explains that six TTPE genes selected based on the highest score degree reviewed in the CETA scheme. Node analysis obtains six main genes with the highest degree score, as we can see on the screen. Based on the research that we have conducted, it can be calculated that 1. The active compound contains all tetelinifera are alkaloids, flavonoids, tannins, saponins, and steroids. The result of FBIR analysis of active compound in all tetelinifera are flavonoids with a strain of carboxylate group and hydroxyl group at the peak of wave absorption of 3358 cm. Ojatolinifera has strong cytotoxic activity against breast cancer cells with an IC50 value of 270.63 microgram per milliliter. The molecular mechanism of Ojatolinifera in inducing breast cancer cells apoptosis through bioinformatics analysis is to suppress intracellular ROS level and compete in P21 and PP53 proteins. Thank you for your attention. Please support us in ESPO 2025. We Titong fight breast cancer together!